Good evening, everybody. Hello, is somebody there? Hi, Carlos, how's everything? Buenas noches. Hi, how's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, William. How are you guys? How's everything? How's everything? Hello, teacher. In the teacher. Hello Carlos. Uh, are you in your house already? Or no? Carlos? Ah, okay. Not yet. All right. So we're going to continue with those things. Uh, give me one second. How many of you? Hi, teacher. Know. More people are getting connected. Hi, Jonathan, how's everything? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal su día? Perfecto. Eh, ¿Qué hora regresa el trabajo? Ah, ¿really? Estaba oh. de vacation. Ah, that's nice, man. That's nice. That's excellent. That's excellent. Just give me one second. Good evening, Soila. Hey, is everybody going to have vacations this, this coming week? Todos van a tener vacaciones este próximo, uh, esta próxima semana. Hoy algunos que eh, no van a tener mucho que digamos. Dios sí, gracias a Dios. Ah, you're going to have the whole week, Soila? Toda la semana? Yes. Man, that's, yes. That's, that's excellent. Yes, está el viernes. Ah, I mean, that's, that's great. Y el de lunes. That's really great, so like, so like, good for you. Good yes, for thank you. you. Yeah, I mean, how about the rest? Yeah, el resto? Are you going to work on Holy Week or, or not? Van a trabajar only, only Friday. Friday. Really, Carlos? Only Friday? Yes. I mean, pero when you say, like, only Friday, es que solo el viernes va a tener libre o, o el viernes sale? El Viernes Santo, solo el Viernes Santo. Really? En 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 Thursday y el y el jueves. Yo no tengo trabajar siempre. Jesus, man. I mean, nada, you were working at that time. I mean, that that day. Sí, porque por lo general casi son bien pocos los que trabajan ese día, right? Not not everybody work that day. Ah. En, en comercio casi no, 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 no hay descanso. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Eso es cierto, sí. En esa, en esa área, yeah, I mean, you have to be very active. Y para esos tiempos así, se pone más, más pesado el trabajo, right? A veces es cuando hay más trabajo. That's the thing. But anyways, the good thing is that you, you got a job, right? That's, that's the perfect thing. All right. So let's start with the attendance list, guys, because we have a lot of things to do today. Um, we're going to continue with the same topic as the one that we were practicing yesterday. And it's basically the same. But now we're going to explain the structure in a kind of deeper way. So but let's start with the attendance list just to go into the main topic, OK? So let's start. Carlos Mauricio. Present. OK, cool. Cindy Melanie. Cindy Melanie. No here. Okay. Let's move. Elvi Quintanilla. Present teacher. Okay. Excellent. Stephanie Michelle. Present. No, okay. Nice. Gustavo. No, Gustavo is not here. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Excellent. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Let's continue. Jose Antonio. Is he Jose Antonio here? No. Okay, not here. Jose Edgar. No, ah, okay, Jose. He says that he was just as a listener, right? Solo como oyente. Cool. Juan Emanuel. All right, he's another. Let's move Juan Gilberto. Gilberto, Gilberto, it's not here yet. 
Ok, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok. How do you feel, man? ¿Cómo, cómo sigue? Está mejorando un poco, teacher. Nah, ok. Poco a poco, queriendo ya otra vez. Vaya, que sí, lo, lo atacó con todo y rápido. Eso. Bien, bien. Si sí, un día para otro, si sí, estaba bien, me dormí bien y me desperté como a la una ya, ya con eso, con esa molestia. Ya, eso es terrible. Una semana, bueno, una semana antes de, de, de iniciar con el módulo, con este módulo, de hecho, ah, pasé por lo mismo. I thought it was, I thought it was, corona, I thought it was coronavirus, but nah, man, salió negativa la prueba sí. and everything, pero sí, no podía ni hablar. Sí, y la, y la primera, la primera vez que me puse mal sí era coronavirus y ahí ah. me dijeron que, que es la secuela de esto. Ah, ah man, yo creí que me había dado coronavirus por primera vez, pero nada, todavía sí, sigue en visto. I never, I never had Felicidad. that. Yes, Felicidades. I, had, I never had that. Y eso que trabajo presenciales con estudiantes, you know, like all the time. Y nada, man, no nos quiere el corona. That's cool. Yeah. Ok. Yeah, Julio César. Present. Ah, ok, excelente. Uh, Karen Beatriz. Present. Ok, nice. Luis Gerardo. Gerardo. Ok, uh, Verónica Arely. Verónica, ok. Wendy Jamilet. Presente. Ah, ok. Cool. William Ernesto. Presente. Ok, cool. Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara, ¿es sí, sí. No yet. Ok, let's move. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Nice. Carlos José. Me teacher. Ok, perfect. And the last one. Soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. So let's start with uh, the main topic that we are going to have for tonight. So just give me one second. I'm going to place the presentation. Ok, give me one second. Hmm. Okay, so this is the going to be the presentation for tonight. I'm going to talk a little bit about this this topic. Like, you know, like, uh, basically, we're going to continue with this because it's like likely similar to the topic that we were discussing yesterday, right? <laughs> it says video conference number 17. Let's remember three more video conference besides this one. And we basically finish the module. So tonight's topic is going to be Lesson up, how to use would like to, okay? That's gonna be the topic. How to use would like to. Vamos a ver un poco sobre cómo crear preguntas y pues cómo crear oraciones positivas usando esta estructura. Which is going to be a little bit like, you know, like kind of easy because we have been working with this topic from yesterday. So I think it's not going to be that difficult for you. All right, let's. Let's start. What do we have for the class agenda? Let's, let's start with a review from the previous topic, right? It's something that we have not done, but we will do in a moment. Then we are going to start with the uses of would like to. We want to saber un poco sobre la estructura, you know, like how to use would like to and all that thing. And then, right, then, We are going to provide some examples, you know, like by our own. And after those examples, we're going to go and work in the manual. Uh, today, we're going to continue with a conversation that we have over there related to this structure and a way how to report a problem. Okay. And so this is pretty much what we have, uh, like the most remarkable for tonight. 
So let's start. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about this structure, right? Si recuerdan ayer estuvimos un poco hablando sobre esta estructura. Okay. How to use would like to. Pero en este caso, ¿cómo lo usábamos ayer? Can somebody tell me que era el tema central de ayer? Ajá. La estructura. Ah, no, 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 no. ¿Cuál era el tema central? ¿De qué hablábamos ayer? Uh, ways to report a problem. Ah, ways to report a problem. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. So, in this case, ¿cómo reportábamos un problema usando would like to? Can somebody tell me? How we used to do? ¿Cómo solíamos hacerlo? I would like. I would like. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Only one, only one. Let me see. Uh, let's start with Soila. Soila, what was, what was yeah. like the main? I would like to to report a problem. I would like to report a problem. Okay. What was another way to say that? Thank you, Soila. William, ¿cuál era otra forma de reportar un problema? I have a problem. Okay. Uh, for I... example... Uh -huh. I have a problem the internet access. I, I have a problem with the internet access. With, with right? I, yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Uh, Julio Cesar. Another way to report a problem? Uh, I have trouble, trouble with. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, I have trouble with. Very good. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I have trouble with my internet, right? It doesn't let me to connect to the Zoom class. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the typical. Yeah. Esa es como la más común, digamos, hasta para la clase aquí, right? Teacher, yo no, te, yo sé, no puedo entrar, right? O, o yo cuando se me pone medio extraño el internet, right? Y me saca. And I'm reporting to you, like, ah, me quedé sin internet. Or things like that. So those type of problems are the ones that generally happens most of the time, right? Or oh, people who work in, you know, like offices. What's the most common problem? Ah, la impresora no, <laughs> no funciona, right? The printer doesn't work. What happened in that case? The printer doesn't print the papers. Oh, that's a huge problem, right? So, but that's a main, I mean, a common problem, right? That happens most of the time. So in, th so in that case, teníamos diferentes formas de cómo reportar un problema, right? Desde lo más formal hasta lo menos formal. Just, just to put it away. So now we're going to focus only, only in the uses of would like to. All right? And you can say, but what is would like to? Would like to, we use it. We use it. This is structure just to, listen up. Just to say what you want. Especially when you're making offers and requests. This is the key. Esta es la clave. All right, eh, eh, de cuál es la función principal de esta estructura llamada would like to for offers and requests. Okay, para ofrecimientos y para solicitudes. Request means solicitudes, right? So in that case, this is the way how we use would like to to make offers and requests, okay? Those are like the main functions. So let's see a little bit about how it works, you know, into positive sentences. Examples. Uh, let me see who can help me out with that. Gerardo, help me out reading. I would like to go to the beach. Ah, okay. I would like to go to the beach. All right, there you go. So in that case, if you take a look at the structure, we got would like to. Y después del would like to, por lo general, colocamos un verbo, okay? Y ese verbo se le va a conocer como infinitivo. ¿Por qué como infinitivo? Porque después del would like, llevamos la preposición to, okay? Would like to go to the beach. Me gustaría ir a la playa, all right? That's one of the things that it says over here. 
Next example, Ivania. Ivania, are you there? Okay, apparently she's not there. Michelle, can you please read this one, please? please. Uh, you would like to have vacation. Ah, you would like to have vacations. Like yeah, I mean, te gustaría tener vacaciones, right? So that's one. That's another way, right? Next example, LB. She would like to practice English. Ah, okay. She would like to practice English. Okay, le encantaría, okay, o le gustaría practicar inglés. So in that case, you see, you're making an offer in that case, right? So these are like some of the most common examples that we can have related to this structure. If you take a look in there, algo que tiene esta estructura es que, listen, listen, a pesar que el wool está en forma base, Okay. No se ve afectado por el uso de la S cuando usamos terceras personas. Okay. Si ven ahí, tenemos chi y ahí el verbo, uh, a pesar de que es un verbo auxiliar, no se le agrega S. Okay. A esta estructura, a este tipo de verbo, no se le agrega S en terceras personas. Let's remember that. This one is one of those type of, uh, you know, like, uh, verbs that we don't add an S. Entonces acá este verbo no se modifica. A pesar de que esté en tercera persona. Just remember that. Okay, good. Let's continue. Let's see a little bit about the structure. Vamos a ver un poco sobre la estructura. You know, from this copy. Okay. Let's continue. All right, the structure. Let's talk a lot about it. Check this out. This is the most common structure that we generally have to create positive statements using would like to. We got a subject, okay? Remember the subject can be any pronoun or proper noun, okay? And then we have the structure, would like to. And then we have the main verb. You know what is the main verb already, right? Okay, básicamente ya saben a lo que nos referimos cuando mencionamos verbo principal. So it has a main verb. After the main verb, what do you have? Ah, you have a complement. Okay, we have a complement. And we have a series of examples over here. All right, so Gilberto, let's read example number one, please. Hey, teacher. They. They would like. Yes, yes, yes. Continue. They would, they would like to have book oppor, opportunity, opportunities. Okay. Opportunities. Repeat. Okay. Opportunities. There you go, Gilberto. Thank you. Right. They would like to have good opportunities. Nah, uh, good has a, a capital, but anyway. All right, they would like to have good opportunities. A ellos les gustaría tener buenas oportunidades. If you take a look in there, what we are expressing in that case, right, it, it's in a somehow a request, right? Something related to a request. Let's see another example, just for you to get to know with this one. Uh, Jonathan, let's read. What world like to win it? They lottery. Okay, Jonathan, thank you. We would like to win the lottery. Ah, nos gustaría ganar la lotería. All right, so you see, in that case, we are expressing a desire, right? Aquí pues ya estamos expresando una petición o un tipo, a, a modo de deseo, por así decirlo. So in that case, we can use uh, would like to as well. Pero si ven, la, parte, la palabra en verde es el verbo principal. Básicamente es el verbo que nos indica la acción 
que va a, a suceder o, o que sucede en la oración. Ok, that's the one. And the one that makes more specific the sentence is the complement. Right, for example, in the first one, good opportunities, ese es el complemento. And then uh, the lottery is a complement in the other, right? So basically, they, you know, they uh, express something more, more specific to the sentence. William, help me out with this. Uh, she would like to spend more time with her family. Thank you, William. All right. She would like to spend more time with her family. Ah, a ella le gustaría pasar más tiempo con su familia. If you take a look at that structure, we got she, which is the subject, would like to, that, that, that's the structure that we're working on, and then spend, that's the main verb, and the complement is more time with her family. All right. Eh, estas oraciones de acá las estamos haciendo así como de una manera un poco más generalizadas. Aunque igual lo podemos relacionar con, con, digamos, la estructura con oraciones como las que estuvimos creando ayer sobre cómo reportar problemas, ¿ok? Ya sea en nuestro lugar de trabajo o nuestra casa, ¿right? That's one of the things that we can do with this. Entonces, es una de las cosas que podemos hacer without any type of problem. I don't know if you copy this. Are you copying this or you... you You took a screenshot or something like that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, you got it. Okay, cool. Up to now, right up to now. Do you have any questions? Hasta acá tenemos alguna duda con respecto a este estructura, a esta estructura. The uses of would like to. Or at least the way how we work with this. ¿Alguna duda? ¿O oh, everything is getting okay? ¿O todo está bien hasta ahora? No, okay, I guess everything is perfect. I'm glad for that. Let's continue. You're going to see that. You're going to see some, some examples. Questions you think would like to. Antes de pasar a las preguntas. Okay, listen, listen. If we are doing, if we are doing pregunta, requests. Teacher. Hello? Una pregunta. Ajá, tell me, Gilberto. En lo anterior que estábamos viendo, el verbo es como la acción que haremos. Exactly, el verbo principal, sí. Sí, yes. Yes, es Viajar, la acción. Pasar. Exactly. Recibe. Ok, Exactly. Teacher. All right. That's the one that indicates the action that you're going to do. Es básicamente el que okay. indica la acción que usted va a hacer, ¿ok? For example, okay. you might say. Thank you, teacher. Ok. I would like to have, you know. Let's see. I would like to have uh, a long vacation this holy week yeah all right take this out i would like to have a long vacation this holy week ah me gustaría tener una vacación larga esta, esta, esta semana santa right So, who would you like to have something like that? So, en este caso acá, básicamente estamos hablando de un deseo, por así decirlo, right? A request, una solicitud, ¿ok? Let me see. Another one. Give me one second. Someone is like getting into. Ok, another one. For example, making a request. Check this out. She would like it's not, to request a raise. She would like to request a raise. Ah, a ella le gustaría solicitar un aumento. So you see, in that case, we can put it this way. 
Entonces acá ya estamos hablando de algo uh, que, vas a, que, que, que tenemos la, el deseo de solicitar, por así decirlo, right? To make a request, right? This is just in positive examples, right? Positive examples. They would like to, is it not? They would like to, what? Finish their work early. Ah, les gustaría terminar su trabajo temprano. So you see, in that case, we can put it this way. And what we are doing over here is just putting in a correct way the uses of would like to. And this one over here is the main verb. Si ven acá, el verbo finish es el verbo principal en la otra es request. Okay. And in the next one is have. Recuerden que después del would like to es donde se coloca el verbo principal. Right. De la acción a la que vamos a hablar, por así decirlo. Okay. Cool. Now, if you have understood all this part that we are explaining right now, can you please give me one example using would like to? Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer un ejemplo usando would like to. It can be about anything related to the, your job, anything related to the family, anything related to the vacation that you're about to have. Okay, something related to that. Let's create just one example. When you have it, just Turn on the microphone and read it for me, please. Let's do it. Teacher, Teacher ¿cómo se dice? No. Hola, ¿cómo uh -huh. se dice viajar? Travel. Ah, okay. um, yes, I'm going to write it down in here. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I could like, I could like uh, sleep. I would like to sleep. To sleep. Ah, okay. I would like to sleep. <laughs> okay. All right. Me too, man. Me too. Thank you, LD. Somebody else? I would like to uh, drink the beer. <laughs> drink beers. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, starting the party soon, before Holy Week. Teacher. Antes de tiempo, Julio. All right, Sayla. Read. Si yo digo, si yo digo, I could like to learn in English, estará bien. Repeat again. I could like to learn in English. Ah, no, Sayla, porque el verbo principal mm -hmm. tiene que ir en, en forma base, no con ING. Ay, es cierto, perdón, perdón. perdón. Yes. Teacher, yes. Speak uh, I would like to travel to the USA. Ah, okay, that's another one. Cool, Michelle. That's a good one. Soila, read it again. I would like to speak English. Ah, okay, cool. Sí, ¿eh? That's different. Yes, very okay. good. Soyla. I would Nobody like knows? to design my house. To design your house. Mm -hmm. I would like to design my house. Ah, okay, very good, Ivania. That would be excellent. Cool. Somebody yeah, else? Teacher. All right, William. I would like to eat food Italian. Italian food. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. I would like to eat Italian food. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, would you like to eat macarrones, man, or what, what kind of food? <laughs> nah, I mean, like, Italian food is, is, is nice, man. It's nice. It's nice. Like Chinese food. Okay, cool. Somebody else? Alguien más? Tengo una teacher. Okay, Gilberto, let's go. I would like to make Disney. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I would like to meet Disney. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's acceptable. Disney. Excellent, Gilberto. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Somebody else? 
I would like to have driver license. I would like to have a driver's license. That's a good one. Esa es buena y bendita. Ok, cool. Thank you. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? I would like to have more time to sleep. Ah, ok, I would like to have more time to sleep. Ah, I'm, I'm waiting for that too, Karen. For real, estoy esperando eso también. And I would like to have more time to sleep. <laughs> That's excellent. Ok, cool, thank you. Uh, somebody else? Teacher, yo tengo otra, pero eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Vaya, no. es, ay, es que sí sé cómo se escribe, pero no, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Es, I would like to eat garlic eh, shrimp, shrimp cam, como camarones al ajillo. ¿Cómo es? Shrimp, garlic shrimp, shrimps. Como se shrimp. Como con SH. SHR. Shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, that's 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 I no puedo. Ah, no me No puedo pronunciar. Shrimp. Those are like camarones. Shrimp. Shrimp. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, cool. I have never tried those ones. Are they good, Michelle? ¿Cómo? ¿Son ricos así? Sí, bastante delicioso. Ah, ok. Vamos a probarlos esta, esta otra semana. <laughs> sí, was up. Ok, cool. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, somebody else? Let me see. Who else is not participating? Gerardo, give me one example, man. I would like to have three wives. <laughs> you would like to have three wives. I mean, why, man? Why, why three wives? Yeah. Ah? Why three wives, man? Diciendo esposas. Ah. <laughs> Man, yo estaba pensando en, en, en Wi-Fi. No, that's Wives. Ah, uh, Wives. Ah. Uh, yeah, like this. <laughs> Man, ya quiere parecer los, 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 los de, 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 de ah, por los países musulmanes. And they got seven wives. Nah, man. That's too much. Con una, créame. Con una. Ya no va a querer más. Y para los que están casados, me dan la razón. Okay. All right, Gerardo. Nice. Let's continue. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Un harem, quiero. Exactly, Carlos. All right, William. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, I would like to visit the Spino Beach. Ah, you would like to be, oh my, that's cool, man, cool. <laughs> yeah, bueno, it's considered a, one of the best beaches all over the coast because in this area, there's no, like, you know, like, kind of rope. Aquí no hay como, which, como which better, el, el, which better uh, Spino or Cuco? Both of them are good, man, both of them are good. Because in, in both of them, you can find, uh, I mean, long beaches, I mean, long uh, uh, ways to, to, to walk, you know, and there, there are no rocks in here, like El Tunco. El Tunco is nice, man, <laughs> pero hay, digamos, que mucha roca, mucha piedra, right? like, it's como que dificulta caminar, por así decirlo. En cambio, acá, I mean, everything is, like, kind of different. Digamos okay. que hay más espacio and everything. Yeah, the comparison between El Cuco and the It's Espino, more clean. Uh, yeah, I mean, another one. Just, both of them are clean. Both of them are clean. Okay. Solo que en El Cuco suelen ser un tantito más barato las cosas que en El Espino. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, okay, in some places. Okay. In some places. Okay. 
ya. Yeah. Aunque igual, por estas fechas, like, everything is super expensive. Ajá, Gilberto. Si yo, si yo quiero hacer una oración, me gustaría tener una motocicleta nueva. Sería, I would like to head Ajá. Morosaico, Morosaico New. Al revés. Al revés. Ajá. I, I, I would like to head Ajá. a new motorcycle. Exactly. I would like to have a new motorcycle. That's one. All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool, Gilberto. Let me see. Who else? Somebody has not participated. Let me see. No, 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 no. Jorge. Thank you. Okay, mister. I, I guess you haven't participated, Jorge. I would like I would like to go to the beach. Mm, okay, I would like to go to the beach. That's one. Cool. You're thinking on vacations okay. already, man. Cool. Yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me see who else. Jose Pineda. Do you have one example? Yes. Okay, let's read it. I work. I would like to sleep after class. I would like to sleep <laughs> after class. Come on, Jose, you do it. Si usted lo hace después de clases, se van a dormir. Ah, bueno, a menos que no duerma after class, right? <laughs> bueno, lo que pasa es que a veces va, se, se corta el sueño, sí, va. <laughs> ah, ok, all right. that happens, that happens. Pero hay que estar con toda la actitud hasta el final de la clase, como soy la suele estar. ¿verdad? Yeah, I mean, with the whole attitude. Así como que. Pero no durmiendo, ¿eh? Not sleeping. Teacher, se está burlando de mí, qué barbaridad. No, soy la. Lo que Pero termino. Que... That's a good thing, that's what I'm saying. With the attitude, you end up everything. No, es que a veces sí nos cansamos demasiado. Sí. Uh, y a veces en las que yo también he estado así como que, like, talking, 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 pero ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Es que mira, de las ask, 9 a las 10, de las 9 de las 10 debería ponernos algo que nos incentive para que no, no, no nos dormamos. You know what? In my, in my classes, I, I, I'd like to, to put videos and all those things, but the thing is that in here I cannot use a third party video. That's the thing. El, yes. el caso es que acá no podemos usar como material de tercero porque, you know, like, nos metan el sí. viejo. Y... Sí, es cierto. Ya, yeah, man, we got no, Pero, la... pero de, de conversation está very, very, very fine. Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's very cool mm -hmm. because in that way, I mean, you keep practicing and all those things and in that way, we don't, don't sleep, like, you know, like, until the class <laughs> finish, as, as Jose says. Ay, okay, sí. cool. Let's continue. Give me one second. I'm going to clear up these things because I need we to continue. I'm going to clear up this thing. Okay, now, those were positive statements. Now, let's jump into questions using would like to. Look, let's start with the structure that we generally use to create questions using would like to. Teacher. Is, uh -huh. eh, ahí escribió Julio también. Where? Pregunta si está correcto en el chat. Ah, me, give me one second. Es que lo tenía tapado con la barrita. Give me a second. I would like to visit country. Eh, Julio, sería al revés. Another country. I would like to visit another country. All right, that will be so that will be the way, okay? Perfect, let's continue. Okay, questions you would like to. Uh, let me see who can help me out reading the, the, the Gerardo. Let's read the structure for me, please. Can you please read the structure for me? Uh, 
World. Ajá. Más. Plus. El símbolo de más se, lo, se pronuncia como plus. Plus. Subject. Plus. Like to. Plus. Main verb. Plus. Ajá. Plus. Complement. Ah, ok. En plus de question form, right? That's the one that we generally have over there. Good. An example. Thank you, Gerardo. Uh, Ivania, can you please help me out reading this question? Would you like to dance with me? Okay. Would you like to dance with me? ¿Qué estamos haciendo acá? Acá estamos solicitando algo, requesting something, right? Aquí es cuando ya bailar. estamos solicitando algo, right? ¿Cuál es la solicitud? Exactly. Bailar. bailar, right? Thank you, Ivania. So, tomemos en consideración acá que la estructura de esta uh, pregunta es una yes, no question, right? Que las opciones de respuesta, recuerden, son yes or not. Okay? That's the way how we put them in here. Would you like to dance with me? Yes, I would. Algo corto, all right, and positive. Yes, I would. If it is negative, no, I wouldn't. Okay, yes, I would. Sí, me gustaría, right? Oh, yes, I would like to. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Right? That's, that's another way. Just, just, just to put it in here, right? That's another way. Good. Let's keep going. I have another question. Yes. Será este entonces answer short. Yeah, I mean short answers. Lo pueden hacer de manera larga si quieren practicar todo lo demás de la, de, de la, del vocabulario, por decirlo así. A ver, ¿cómo así? Would you like to dance with me? Usted puede decir, Yes, I would like to dance with you. Ok. This is, a, you see, a positive long answer. If it is negative, no, I will not like to dance with you. You see, that's another way. Entonces, estas son otras formas que podemos utilizar. All right, pero estas ya son un poco largas. All right, aunque igual vienen a dar a lo mismo. Short forms and long forms. Okay. Okay. These are the other ways. Cool. Now, I think the next ones are, but in, uh, give me one second. Let me, let, let me see. Ah, sí, la próxima es con una WH word, pero vamos a quedarnos acá por el momento. Okay, with this one. Why? Porque acá sí me gustaría que practicáramos estas preguntas, tal y como están así, con yes, no questions, antes de pasar a las WH word questions. How come? How come? En este caso, me gustaría que me crearan una pregunta usando una solicitud, pidiendo algo, ¿ok? Like, like requesting something, ¿ok? For example, my request will be, hey, para los que tienen la cámara apagada, would you like to turn on your cameras? You see, esa es una request, ¿ok? It was an example. Ah. Where are you when, oh, no, Teacher, pero para una consulta. Ajá. Para decir, me gustaría, en vez de you, sería I, ¿verdad? Me gustaría. Ajá, es que allí es como, o yes, siempre yes. es. Ya, yeah, Michelle, en y... ese caso es me gustaría, pero es, ahí básicamente usted se estaría autopreguntando. Ah, entonces sería como... Ah. La, como la estructura. Eh, eh, acuérdese que ahí usted le estaría preguntando a alguien más, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Y siempre ah. el verbo mantiene su, su forma base. Exactly. Eh, eh, okay. Sí, eh, una autopregunta igual está bien, solo que en este caso, pues, es eh, preferible hacerlo mejor a otra persona, porque si usted se dice, ah, hey, supongamos que, que, que está actuando usted y dice, ah, Michelle, would you like to have one million dollars? Ah, ok. That will be for another person. Pero si dice, will I want to have a million dollars? Yes, I will. Ah, uh, it wouldn't make sense. Eh? Me gustaría tener un millón de dólares. You see, I mean, okay. nada. Eh? 
Yeah, it's mostly with you. Pueden usar inclusive la tercera persona, and there's no problem. Tengo, tengo una techo. Okay, William, let's go. Uh, would you like to prepare dinner for me? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> cool. No, let, let's do something. Let's do something. Hagamos algo mejor. All right, listen, listen, listen. Completenlas, terminenlas, y luego las vamos a contestar los unos a los otros. Let's do it. Let me know when everybody's finished. Teacher, ya terminé. You finish? Okay, cool. Uh, Carlos Gamero, do you finish? Ya hice la suya, Carlos. Todavía, todavía no, teacher. Ah, ok. All right. Yeah. Let's finish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Would you like your computer to be repaired? Uh, repeat it again, Ivania. Would you like your computer to be repaired? Would you like your computer to be repaired? Ah, okay, okay. Even though that one is not a like like a simple present question, it's acceptable. Would you like your computer to be repaired? Oh, oh. would you like to repair your computer? Okay. Teacher. Ambas formas son correctas. Cool. Thank you, Vania. Aha. Would you like to travel? Mm, okay. Would you like to travel? Okay. That's a, that's another one. Would you like to play soccer? Ah, okay, cool. There you go. Muy bien. But let's do something. Let's do something. Listen, listen, listen. Vamos a irlas contestando y respondiendo. ¿Cómo así? William, you have one, right? Read your question. Yeah. And I want Karen to, to, to answer that question. Okay. Would you like to work with me? Ah, okay, cool. Yes, I would. <laughs> Ah, okay. Yes, I will. Thank you, William. Now, Karen. Nice. Read. Contractual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Karen, read the question that you have. Would you like to read a book? Uh -huh. Yes, LB? I would like. Ah, but sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, William. Yes, you're gonna be the like. last one. Okay, you're going to yes, be the last yes. one, William. Okay, LB. You're going to be yes, the last one, William. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. Now, Elvi, read, read again the question that you have. I would like the book. Ah? Yes, I would like. No, I mean, repeat the question that you have. The ah, question. okay, okay. Would you like to travel? Okay. Julio, Cesar? Yes, I would like to travel. <laughs> ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Elvi. Now, Julio. Read the question that you have. And Michelle is going to answer. Uh, would you like to prepare a report today? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, very good. Thank you, Julio. Now, Michelle, read the questions that you have. Uh, would you like to drink coffee with me? <laughs> Gilberto, answer that question. Re repeat, please. Okay, repeat the question, Stephanie. Uh, would, would you like to drink coffee with me? Oh, interesting. Yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. Now, Gilberto, read your question. And Zoila is going to answer. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gilberto is going to uh, ask the question. Give me a new piano. Uh, okay, repeat. Please. Yeah, repeat it again because I didn't listen. Would you like to give me a new piano? Ah, would you like to give me a new piano? Yes, I would like. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. ¿Le gustaría regalarme un nuevo piano? Ah, okay. oh, yes. no, pues no. <risa> no, ya dijo yes, ya dijo yes. <risa> no, no, es muy Dani Gilberto. Eso lo molesta, lo molesta decir sí, siempre sí y no. Ahí tengo la vida. Ok, cool, thank you, Gilberto. Ok, soy hey, la. Read yours Bye. and Gerardo is going to answer. Ok, Gerardo, would you like to go a church with me? To church with me. To church with me. Uh -huh. Yes, I would. Ah, ok, yes, I would. There you go. Thank you, Zoila. Ah, ok, excelente la sesión. Ir a la iglesia con Zoila. Sí. <laughs> Solo falta que Gerardo diga, no, pues no. <risa> All right, no, no. Thank you, no, no creo que no quiera, algo muy bonito. <risa> El bueno. Ok, that's good, that's good. All right, Gerardo, read the question and Jose, Jose Pineda is going to answer. Would you, would you like to play soccer with me? Ah, ok. Yes, go to you like soccer. Okay, yes, I would like. I would like, I would like. To play. To play. Soccer. Soccer. With you. With you. Now, nah, okay, very good. Thank you, Gerardo. Now, Jose, uh, read the question that you have. Um... Yeah. Would you like to have coffee with me? Nah, okay. Ah. Hmm, me parece familiar esa pregunta. But anyways, uh, let's, let's keep it that way. Se parece a la de Michelle. All right, Jonathan is going to answer. Tengo otra. Escucha la pregunta. Uh, no problem, man. no problem. Let's, let's speak with that. Pero tengo otra. Tal vez está bien. Ok, let's, let's, let's read it. Ok. What do you like to that meet? Uh, repeat the question again, Jose. What, what do you no, would you like to let me? Ah, okay. Gustaría salir conmigo. Would you like to? Ah, no, pero es que, es que mire, sí, pero es que así como lo tiene es de date, pero salir <risa> en otro aspecto. No, lo vamos a poner así, mire, para no crear confusión. Would you like to go out with me? Ok. Yeah, go out es como salir, you know, like, like ya sea. Sí, para, decir, uh, al, para decir parque, ¿te gustaría salir conmigo al parque? Ah, ok. Would you like to go out to the park with me? Acá solo le agrega to the park with me. Ok. Yeah. Okay. Gracias. All right, perfect. Jonathan, answer Thank the question. You. Answer the question. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Eh, la pregunta mía. Ah, no, no, no. Que responda la pregunta que 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 leyó José. La la primera o la segunda. La segunda. No, no, I word. <laughs> Ok, ok. Hey, José, le, 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 le dijeron que no, José. Sorry. Ok, no problem. Let's continue. Thank you, José. Now, Jonathan. Uh -huh. Read your question and Ivania is going to answer. I would like to have 
I far to have a cocktail. Ah, pero si comienza con I would like to, eh, Jonathan, esa es una oración positiva. Y aquí era pregunta, estar eh, comenzando con would you like. Como en los ejemplos que tenemos, el que tengo ahí en la pantalla. O sea que tienen que decir would you like. Exactly, y luego el verbo principal. Uh, would you like to have I far to have a counter? Ok, would you like to have? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Te gustaría tener una hacienda con bastante ganado? Ah, ok. Would you like to have a farm with a lot of cattle? Like this. Sí. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have a, a, a farm with a lot of cattle? Cattle means ganado, okay? Sería, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, Ivania, read your question again and uh, let, 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 let me see. Karen is going to answer. I, oh, pardon. Uh, would you like your computer to be repaired? Okay. Can you repeat, please? <clears throat> would you like your computer to be repaired? I would. Okay, yes, I would. There you go. Uh, thank you, Ivania. Now. Karen, read the question again, and Wendy is going to answer. Would you like to read a book? Yes, I will. All right, yes, I will. Thank you, Wendy. Now, <laughs> Wendy, uh, okay. eh, Está bravo el people. Okay. Play basketball. Okay, cool. Uh, Jorge, answer. Yes, I will. Excellent. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Sabrá el, el, el people. Okay, cool. Uh, Jorge, read the question. And Juan Campos is going to answer. Okay. Would you like to travel with me? No, with you. I don't. I wouldn't like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey man, why are you so aggressive, man? <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> but it's a he said but it's a situation <laughs> hypothetical. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> now Juan, read your question and Carlos Gamero is going to answer. Okay. Would you like to travel to the zoo in Africa? To a zoo in Africa. Okay. <laughs> uh, the question is like this, Carlos. Uh, so let, let's see if you can read it. No, I wouldn't. Would you like to travel? To a zoo in Africa. Me gustaría viajar o ir a un zoológico en África. No, I wouldn't. Think. That would be your answer. Okay. Thank you, Juan, for the question. Now, Carlos, let's finish with you. Uh, read the question that you have. And yeah, because Julio Alberto is not in good conditions to answer. Mm, William is going to answer. Would you like to buy a new shoes? William? Uh, repeat, please. Would you like to buy a new shoes? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay, very good. 
There you go, William. So we are going to end it up with this. Now, and I answered to Julio the question. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Now, listen, these questions were W, uh, I mean, yes, no questions. But what about with the WH questions? Recordemos que podemos hacer igual preguntas con WH questions, right? ¿Cuáles son esas? Ah, cuando le gramos. What, where, when, who, with, uh, why. Okay, all those things. Do we have some examples? Yeah, we have some examples. Check this out. Where would you like to go? Where would you like to go? Ah, ¿dónde te gustaría ir? Where would you like to go? Ah, I would like to go to Europe. I would like to go to Europe. All right. Ah, me gustaría ir a Europa. Me gustaría ir a what? I would like to go to El Pital, for example. I would like to go to Cerro Verde, whatever, right? So that's, that's, those are places. Recordemos, preguntas con where se refieren a lugares, right? Locations that we might, might, might go or have an action in those places. Uh, can we create questions with the other WH word? Yes, we can do it. For example, listen up. For example, William, what time would you like to finish the class? What time would you like to finish the class? I finish the class 11, at 11 p.m. I would like to I go, finish. Ah, yeah, yeah. I would like to finish the class at 11 p.m. Ah, okay, very good. That's nice, William. Thank you. LB. Okay, let me see. Listen, LB. Who, listen, who would you like to go to the beach with? Who would you like to go to the beach with? First, first, LB, do you understand the question? Primero que nada, ¿entendemos la pregunta? ¿Con quién irás a la playa? ¿Con quién te gustaría ir a la playa? Exactly, right? That's the one. Vamos a poner acá la pregunta para que la entendamos de mejor manera y de manera escrita. Listen. Who would you like to go to the beach with? Right? This is the structure for the question. So, Elvi. Would you like my family? Would you like to listen, listen, listen. The question, I, I'm asking the question to oh. you, okay? okay? Remember, okay. I <laughs> yes, uh, no, I'll be. No, no. no. Vamos a, com a comenzar con I. Y luego siguiendo el patrón de la estructura. I would. Exactly. I, I would. Uh, I would. Um, I would like to, to go. Uh, my family, the beach, no, see, sí, no, my family on the beach. Okay. Like this? Así? I would like to go my family on the beach. Are you sure? Sí. Sí, I will to go my family uh, on the beach. Okay, all right. Vamos a hacer una pequeña modificación, Eli. Listen. Básicamente, okay. cuando se hace una pregunta con una information question, vaya, hasta acá estábamos más que bien. Listen, I would like to go, ahora bien, ¿a dónde va a ir? 
to the church. Ok. Ahora bien, dice, with. Family. With my family. Exactly. With my family. Family. Ok. I would like to go to the beach. I like to go to the beach with my family. Exactly. With my family. Uh -huh. Exactly. This is okay. the way. Very good. Okay. Estaba dormida, teacher. <laughs> you were sleeping. Ya no aguanto más. <laughs> Oh my God. Like we're going to practice a conversation so that way you're going to wake up. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go. Por eso va a pasar, va a pasar listo el teacher. <laughs> yes, man. Ya casi, ya casi. Okay, now one more question and then we are going to do some practices because you're going to do some questions like this. Uh, and the next question is going to be for Juan Campos. Juan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, cool. Let me see. Something easy, man. Okay. Why would you... Let me see. You like to travel to... Let's put Europe. Why would you like to travel to Europe? Okay. I would like to travel to Europe because the life is very easy. So you can be rich. Because life is very easy. It's, and you had all benefits about the country, for example, a seat. So, it want to yeah the life is easy and also uh, the government give you a house uh, give you the uh, uh, really man that would be nice to one sorry sorry that would, sure that would be nice just imagine the government giving me a live. That might that might be cool, man. That should be cool. Yes, yes. And you had uh, benefits about the the uh, medical uh, hospital. Ah, uh, you're speaking about medical. Better than it's done better than than here. Uh, way better, right? Okay, good. There you go. So thank you, thank, thank you, Mr. So this is the way how we, you know, like practice this type of questions. So entonces esta es la forma en como nosotros podemos, you know, practicar y preguntar usando las WH word. Recordemos que lo único que cambiamos es el verbo y el complemento con el cual nosotros vamos a hacer la acción, right? Y obviamente la WH word. Cool. Uh, hasta acá, ¿alguna pregunta? Any question? Teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh, Carlos, go en, on. en este caso, en este caso de because quisiera poner porque quisiera como te gustaría viajar a Europa porque quisiera conocer cómo se siempre se cómo se pronunciará ahí. Okay, I would like to go, for example, I would like to travel to Europe uh -huh. because uh -huh. Ah, because porque quisiera qué dijo? Conocer because I want to, uh, let's put explore. The places. Explore the places or visit the places. Pero, pero, I did, I want, es dije, yo, este es la, el, el verbo. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. Acá ya no es necesario de volver uh -huh. a colocar would like to porque uh -huh. ya lo llevamos al principio. Right? Por eso uh -huh. eh, ya no hay necesidad de colocar el would like to después del because. Right? Uh -huh. Ah, me gustaría viajar a Europa porque quiero explorar, porque quiero conocer las ciudades and everything. Right? So in that case, we can put it this way. Lo podemos poner de esa manera. Okay. Okay. Cool. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? Pregunta? Yes. All right, Jose. Go on. Tengo una. 
I would you like to travel big boat? Okay. Primero, would you like to travel? Hasta ahí le, le escuché. Big boat. ¿Te gustaría viajar en barco? Ah, by boat. Exacto. Would you like to travel by boat? By boat. Ah, like, pero esa es una yes, no question, right? Would you like to travel by boat? ¿Te gustaría viajar en bote? Okay, so this is a yes, no question, right? Esta es una yes, no question. Ah, uh, José, si la queremos transformar en una information question, okay. Acá le podemos poner una WS word. Por ejemplo, where would you like to travel by boat? Okay. You can put it like that. O si estamos hablando de lugar, what kind of place would you like to travel by boat? ¿A qué tipo de lugar te gustaría viajar en bote? You see? Okay. All right. En este caso podemos manipular acá el después del would like to para colocando las posibles WS words. Podemos. Ah, okay. Te pueden agregar también. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Nice. All right. Perfect. Let's continue. Bien. Vamos a continuar entonces. I'm going to erase this thing. All right, questions using would like to, it says. Soila, can you please read this question, please? Please, please, please. Would you, would you like to have a new computer? Okay, would you like to have a new computer? Thank you. Uh, head of the, let's read the answer. Yes, I would like to have a new computer. Ah, ok, very good. Aquí ya son oraciones de yes and no, pero digamos que son un poco más largas. No simplemente decimos yes, I would. Ok, this is the negative version to this type of question. Gilberto, let me read it, please. No, I would. No, I could not like to have a new computer. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. No, I will not like to have a new computer. Very good. Next question. Let me see who can help me out with this. Wendy, help me out, please. What time would you like to finish class? Ah, okay, cool. Now, Jorge. I would like to finish class at 10, 10 p.m. Okay, 10, 10 p.m. or 10 or 10 p.m. Okay, there you go. So this is the way uh, how we can create this type of questions, right? These are just extra examples just for you to get to know, okay? Just remember, just extra examples. All right, if you're copying them, just take a screenshot and let's continue. Listo, teacher. Okay, nice. Let's continue. Okay, now, what are we gonna do? We are going to go to the manual. Let's go to the manual, but before getting to the manual, I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Give me one second. Put in the chair here. All right, just give me one second, people. I need to put the charger to my computer because it's, it's, it's getting uh, charged. Give me one second.
All right, so let's continue. Uh, let's just start with the first one. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Cool. Cindy Melanie. All right, she's not here. Uh, Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher. Nice. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Gustavo's not here. Mm, Ivania Chamilet. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Jose Edgar. Ah, he's, he's a some listener. Okay, let's continue. Juan Emanuel. Juan, are you there? All right, we're having problems with the internet. Uh, Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Julio Cesar. Present. Excellent. Karen Beatriz. Present. Very nice. Luis Gerardo. Present. Excellent. Veronica Arely. Right, she's not here. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, William Ernesto. Present. Okay, nice. Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara. Okay, you don't have to matter. Okay, nice. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Jose. I mean, Carlos probably got problems and he disconnected from the class. Uh, Soyla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Now, let's jump into the manual, right? Let's jump into the manual specifically to the page 43. And let's see a little bit about this topic. All right, let's, let's take a look at this. It says, we use, would like to, it says to say what you want, especially when making offers or requests. It's like the similar to what we were practicing. We got singular, you know, examples and plural examples, right? Tenemos ejemplos en singular y en plural. In singular, uh, Julio Cesar, help me out reading the first one. We would like to send the reports today. Yeah, okay, excellent, thank you. Ivania, read the second one. Hey. Like to meet the new employees tonight. Ah, okay, perfect. Now the plural ones, Michelle. Uh, they would like to speak to a supervisor. Ah, okay, excellent. And the last one, Elvi. Would we'll like to ship this con content tomorrow. All right, container tomorrow. Container tomorrow. All right, we'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Very good. Thank you. So let's continue with this. Check this out. This is the short conversation that I would like to practice, okay, as we have been doing in the past. Give me one second. Okay, it says, listen to your teacher read the conversation, the practice with a partner, it says. Uh, this is a conversation between Mike and Maria, okay? And at the end, we got Mario. But listen up, listen, listen. It says, Mike Hernandez, IT department, it says. Mike 
Hernandez IT Department. Maria says, hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. I would like to report a problem with my printer. It says, Mike, what is the problem? Miss Ochoa, what is the problem? Miss Ochoa. So now, it says, Maria, it doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. And it's, and it's making a strange noise. And it's making a strange noise. It says, Mike. Is there a message in the control panel? Is there a message in the control panel? He says, Maria. Yes, it says, yes, it says service. Service. Also, there is a red light. Also, there is a red light on the error button. On the error button. I would like you to come. I would like you to come. Is it up? Soon to check it. Soon to check it. It says, uh, yes. Oh, I, I thought someone was, was saying something. I see, it says. I'll be there right away. Aquí un pequeño mistake y, y pusieron Mario, pero en este caso es Mike. Okay, remember that. It says, I see. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Okay, cool. Now, from the whole conversation, do you have any question related to the vocabulary? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario? Alguna palabra, pronunciación, or something like that? Teacher, accounting, ¿qué significa? Which one? Accounting. Accounting. From accounting, contabilidad. Y... ¿Cómo se pronunciaba y qué significa? Ah, accounting means contabilidad. Aquí estamos hablando de un departamento, right? Dentro de la empresa. From accounting, de contabilidad. Michelle, are you there? Ah, Michelle, se le fue el intro. Ah, Carlos, you're back. I'm here, teacher. I'm so sorry to be late. All right, man. Cool. Michelle, are you back? Do you listen to me? Hola. ¿Me escuchó? Oh, sí, no, se quedó parado. <laughs> okay. Pero creo que es mi internet. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Now, it says, accounting, le decía que básicamente es el departamento de contabilidad. O contabilidad, simplemente. Ok, teacher, y otra consulta, ¿qué significa alzo? Que escucho que, es, que se pronuncia, pero ¿qué significa? ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál? Alzo. Alzo, o alzo. alzo. Ah, alzo, alzo. Ah, alzo significa también, o además. Alzo ah, might be también, ah, o okay. además. Ok. Yes, Cuando se utiliza, teacher, is there... Is there a mess, message? Is there a, allí estamos hablando de hay, pero en pregunta. Okay. The... Por ejemplo, dice, is there a message in the control panel? Hay un mensaje en el panel de control. 
¿ok? Pero en pregunta, ya en respuesta hay, de, de, en, en, en oración positiva, ya es there is. Ok, ya es there is. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna Teacher, pregunta? Strange. 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 Extraño. Extraño. Okay. Está haciendo un ruido extraño. Exacto. Exactly. Un ruido extraño. Very good. All right. Uh, any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra con la cual tengamos dudas en pronunciación? ¿O qué significa? Error button. Error button. Ese es como botón de error. Where is it? Says? Uh, yeah. Uh, there is a red light on the error button. Ah, y uh, también hay una luz roja, dice, en el botón de error. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what it says. All right. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra que no entendamos muy bien? Okay. En la palabra, en la palabra, the sound to check. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I would like you to come soon to check it. Ah, me gustaría que vinieran pronto a revisarlo. O sea que la palabra son es pronto. Soon, soon es pronto. Soon. Soon. With soon. you. Ajá, soon. Perfect. Any other word? ¿Todo está claro hasta acá? Teacher, repítame la última. I see. I see. Okay. I be there right away. Exactly. I'll be there right away. Thank you. Okay. Una, very good. Una pregunta, Tito. Ajá. ¿Qué significa making a strange noise? Ah, haciendo un sonido extraño. Strange noise es un sonido extraño. Y making. Making es haciendo. Así, ok. Yeah. Gracias, teacher. Ok. No problem. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra? Teacher, solo. Ya, lo último. <laughs> ok, no problem. Es que vaya, usted dijo que son es zoom. Algo así. Ah, ya, yeah, I mean, es pronunciación, me... pronunciación es Zoom. Es que me queda duda porque vaya, también está la palabra Zoom, se pronuncia diferente. Z-O-O-M. Ajá, Zoom. zoom. Ajá, y, y Zoom es, eh, se pronuncia igual. Ah, no, este es Zoom, dice Zoom. Y la otra es Zoom, con Z, Zoom. Ah, ok. That's different. En la pronunciación, aunque al, a, cuando pronunciamos rápido, no cambie mucho, pero sí hay una diferencia entre decir Zoom y Zoom. Ah, ok. Ajá, that's different. Ajá, es que eso me quedó duda, porque lo escuché así. <risa> ok, no, pero ya que dice... Hoy sí, ya no tenemos. <risa> <risa> ok, nice, nice. What are we gonna do? We're gonna practice that thing, okay? We're gonna practice that short conversation. Okay, aparte de Edgar, que está de oyente, let me see who else is, is, is having problems. Ah, Julio, Julio no puede participar, está enfermo. Let me see, so I'm gonna create the groups now. Just to go to work at about 10 minutes with this information. With this thing, just give me one second, please. Gilberto, oh, yeah, I mean, he's the one that will not participate. I need to move on. Give me one second, please. I'm 
I'm gonna make some moves. Move this one of this. Okay, cool. All right, let's let's accept them all and let's go to work for a couple of minutes on that conversation. Okay, just to practice the pronunciation, fluency. That's what you want. Let's go. Just gotta practice, guys. Let's enter to the breakout rooms. Entremos a los breakout rooms, please. Michelle, Gilberto, Juan. Michelle, are you there? Okay, Michelle, good connect. Juan, are you there? Ah, he joined. All right, Gerardo and Juan are the ones who are going to be participating. Because Julio cannot do it because he's sick, okay? All right, let's continue. Con Juan, yes. No, no contesta. Juan, are you there? I mean, it's true. Bueno, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a desplegar entonces, si en un dado caso, pues, se conecta, vamos a desplegar a los demás. Y me voy a hacer, bueno, Juan, lo voy a mandar acá. Let me wait a second. What happened here? I am in is getting there. And to you, man, I'm going to send you to the room number two. I see. I be there right away. Mm -hmm. well, you? Is there a message? Message. Message. No message. 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 Yes. Is there a message? In the control panel. Yes, it says service. Service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. E. I see. E. B. There, right away. Okay. Entonces ahora cambiamos. Yo voy a Hernández, IT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from uh, Counting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Teacher. Ajá. ¿Cómo era la palabra? Eh, is there a message? 
Não, assim message, é... message, message. Message, message. Uh -huh. Ok. Olá, não lo escuché. <risos> Michel, como é, Michel? <risos> é que o internet falha, Michel. Sim, sim, não, 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 Michel. Vamos continuar. Okay. Como queria escutar como se pronuncia message, message. Message, message. Message. Mm -hmm. Así es. Message. Yes. Yes. Message. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Uh, Juan, uh, uh, no, Juan, uh, we, I, I, we don't listen to you. Turn on the microphone and, and let's try. Mm. Okay. Uh, Mike Hernandez. IT department. We don't listen to you, Juan. Are you there? Mm, hola. Hola. ¿Qué pasó? Ya me confundí. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? No, I mean, I was, I was trying to, 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 to ah. get to know to, to Juan because Juan is in here. Pero creo que sí tiene problemas con, con el internet. Ok, continue. You both continue the practice, ok? Si Juan okay. logra agarrar señal y les, y les, les contesta, please practice with him, ok? Ok. okay. Excellent. Thank you, people. Ok, teacher. Oh, oh, Bye. Entonces, empieza otra vez. Working and it's making a strong noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. All be problem. Printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't... Yo, verdad, primero. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is red light on the error button. button. I would like you to come soon to check. I see. I'll be there right away. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, tell me. Este, este la, la última palabra de... Away or, or away? Right away. Right away. Right away. Away or away? Away. 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 Yes, away. 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 Uh -huh. Y la otra que tengo, noise. Así no, es pronunciado. Yeah, noise. Noise. Uh -huh. noise. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, strange. Strange. Uh -huh. Strange. Okay. okay. Strange noise. Gracias. Okay. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue practice. Okay. okay, gracias. Thank you very much. All right. Go to the primary. Is I service? Service. service. Also. also, there is a array, array, array. Line uh -huh, array. on the error button. Uh -huh. I would like to show to check is. I see. I read the right away. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, do you think you have practiced enough? Ya practicaron yes. lo suficiente? Yes. Yes. Ah. yes. Okay, perfect. So, if you think you have practiced enough, let's go, man. Let's go to the main section. Vámonos a la sala principal, entonces. Okay. See you there.
No se le escucha, teacher. Okay. I mean, I was talking to myself. Uh, I mean, el otro Julio es que tuvo problemas, lo sacó la, la aplicación. But anyways, all right. Carlos, uh, who are you practicing with? Let's start. Uh, I'm talking about, yeah, I mean, you, Carlos Chavez. Okay, with Gilberto. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to play the presentation. Okay, teacher. All right, just give me one second. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, you have it there. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message? In the control panel? Yes, it say service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Now, nah, okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carlos and Gilberto. Now, William, who Thank are you teacher. practicing with? Con Ivania. Ah, ok. Let's go. Eh, Mike Hernández, IT Department. Hello, my. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a maze in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check in. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, I'll be there right away. There you go. Thank you, uh, William and Ivania. Now, mm -hmm. Jose, who are you working with? Mike Hernandez, IT department. Ah, uh, uh. okay. uh, yeah, I mean, it was with you, right? Okay, continue. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the, what is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a make sense in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see the tidy right away. Okay, I see. I will be there right away. Thank you, Jose and Karen. You did it excellent. Now, Carlos Gamero, who were you practicing with? With Miss Wendy. Okay, let's go to practice. Mike Hernandez. Permítame, no puedo. No puedo. Okay. Mike Hernandez. I department. IT department, okay. IT, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't uh, seem to be working and it's making a strange, a strange noise. There is a message in the control panel. 
Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Now, okay. I see. I'll be there right away. Thank you, Carlos and Wendy. Now, let's move. Soila. Con Julio. Now, okay, good. Let's continue. Eh, comienza. Bye. Uh, Mike Hernandez, AT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strong noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a there is a red light on the error board. I would like you to to, to come some to check it. I see. It'll be there right away. I'll be there right Teacher. away. Teacher, Hi. teacher, también estuvo Gerardo Campos. Mm -hmm. También Gerardo. Ajá, estuvimos los tres. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, you were... Hello, hello. Nito. Yeah, Emmanuel. Could you hear me? Yes, I listen to you. Okay, I want to practice with Gerardo. Ah, okay, cool. So in that way, ah, all right, let's do it. Okay, Gerardo. Hola. Okay, empieza usted si gusta, Gerardo. Mike Hernandez, IT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Mario Shoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange, a strange noise. Is there a message? Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error on the error button. I would like to come in. I would like I would like you, you. to come soon to shake it. Uh -huh. I see it'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Very good, Eraldo. And thank you, Emmanuel. All right, now okay. let's continue. Elvi, who are you practicing with? Jonathan. Conmigo. Okay, perfect. Let's just start. Okay, Jonathan. Comienzo. Okay. Mikey Hernandez. Is the department. Department. Hello, Mike. Department. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem. A problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working, and it makes a strange noise. It, is there? Amazing in the control panel. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. Uh, I, like, I would like you to come soon to check it. I see it. It better better right what? Oh. Okay, right away. 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 There you go, right away. ¿Qué significa right away, by the way? ¿Qué significa right away, people? 
como voy en camino o algo así. Ah, right away es como para decir ahorita mismo. Estoy listo. Ahorita mismo. Estoy listo. Ahora mismo. Ok. Cuando usted va a hacer una acción en el instante en el que se la dicen. Ahí es donde podemos usar right away. Ok, good. Let's continue. Uh, Jorge has already participated. Emmanuel participated. Ok. Michelle, did you participate already? Uh, no. Now, ok. Let's go to participate. This your classmate. Um, Jorge. With Jorge. Ok. Let's go. Ok. Empiezo. Sí. Empiezo yo, teacher. Ah, ok, as you want, it's up to okay. you. Así como lo han okay. estado practicando, no problem. Ok, Mike Hernández, IT Department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, people, who's missing? ¿Hay algún grupo que todavía falte? Or oh, a pair? Because I think with you guys was the last one. Give me one second. Yeah, I mean, it's the last one, the last pair. Okay, now, listen, what are we going to do with this? Because of the time, we are not going to do what I was planning to do, so... So just let's see this, this, this part. It says, listen. It says, imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Right from one to five requests about it. This is the indication about what we are going to do in this chart. It says, vamos a imaginar que tenemos un equipo en nuestro lugar de trabajo que está dañado. Okay. Y acá lo que vamos a escribir es cinco posibles solicitudes usando would like to para reparar ese equipo. Okay. In one, you can say, for example, I would like to report a problem with my laptop. It doesn't turn on. Ah, me gustaría reportar un problema con mi computadora. Ah, no enciende. And things like that. Now, what are we going to do in this case? Listen. In this case, let's just write down one piece of equipment that you have, okay, broken in your workplace. Vamos a dejar, creo que vamos a dejar comenzar esta actividad para mañana. Acá lo que solicito, como les mencionaba, uh, es básicamente, okay, que mencionen un equipo que ustedes en su lugar de trabajo digamos, lo tengan averiado o este averiado no sirva okay. y acá me van a escribir unas posibles alternativas, ok, de request que ustedes podrían hacer con relación a ese equipo that's all I want to hear for example, I can say I would like to report a problem, ajá o sea, siempre sería dirigiéndose a la, al problema que uno tiene. Exactly. Uh -huh. Es Pero con to diferentes, same con diferentes, sí. Con diferentes. Oh. Siempre llevando a, a igual. ¿Diferentes qué, José? Digamos, oh. por decirlo, a igual, su igual, report, problem. Uh -huh. My set is process. 
No, but in this case, the, the whole sentences you're going to do is going to be in first person, Jose. Okay? In first person. So that way you don't complicate that much. Así de esa manera, pues no nos complicamos tanto. Okay? Eh, recuerde que cuando usamos he o she, en este caso diría de manera normal, igual el verbo. Y ahí no okay. tiene el verbo alteraciones. No tiene alteraciones. Pregunta, teacher. Ok. Las cuatro preguntas que haremos relacionadas a un solo equipo. Yes. Problemas diferentes. Ah, it can be, it can be. ¿Y cómo usted solicita okay, que esa, ese equipo sea reparado? That's the way you know, like, that you are going to start with. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue. Let's continue with that. What's up, Julio? Could you enter? Puedo entrar. Ahorita me están ayudando porque nuestro teléfono entré, Tichi. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. No Pero problem. Sí, no puedo entrar ligerito. No, ok, cool, no problem. Teacher. Yes. O sea que se reporta el problema y son cinco requerimientos, ¿cómo se pueden resolver? Eh, cinco solicitudes con respecto al mismo problema. Ok. Bien. Let me know if you have any other doubts. Por ejemplo, yo, yo tengo una, teacher, no sé si estará bien. Ok, ready. Que dice, I would like a technician to visit for, this, a technician visit to fix my computer. Mm -hmm. I would like to. I, I, I would like, uh, 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 sería, I would like to a technician visit to fix my computer. It would be, I would like to visit a technician to fix my computer. Uh, I, puse, I would like to a technician visit to fix my computer. Ah, in that case, listen. I would like to, okay. I would mm -hmm. like to visit mm -hmm. a technician. All right. And then the rest. Y luego el resto. Without visit. Uh, to fix my computer. Without visit. Without visit. No, it's in there. Listen, I would like, okay, if it is if it is a, a single sentence, I would like to visit a technician to fix my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah, this Thank is the way. I would like to check the wires of the computer. Haha, <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, the this wires on the computer. There we go. Teacher, tengo, tengo una. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I would like to report to send to dozen emails. I would like to report? To send dozen emails. Dozen email. Mm 
que okay. tengo problemas para enviar los, los emails. Ok. Los emails. All right. Well, that's acceptable. That's acceptable. Oh, también tengo esta. I would like to report the computer it doesn't turn on. Ok. Antes, antes de doesn't, colóquele it doesn't turn on. It. 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 Ah, de, 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 de objeto, perdón. Es cierto. Exactly. It, it doesn't. It exactly. doesn't turn on. Ok. Exactly. There you go. All right. Uh, let's, let's mention only one extra person. Vamos a mencionar el ejemplo de una persona más porque mañana vamos a leer los que vamos a hacer, okay? By tomorrow, if you don't continue this, by tomorrow we're going to do it in here. But I want to listen to someone else having an example. ¿Alguien más que me lea su ejemplo? Yo tengo este, pero no sé si está bien. Okay, let's see. I would like to send the report tomorrow. Yeah, even though it is talking about future, the structure is correct. Okay, thank you. Very good, Soila. Listen up. Yeah. By tomorrow, because I don't really want to take so much time from you. All right. Listen, listen. If you have time, si tienen tiempo, y me voy a insertar. Si tienen tiempo, uh, durante el día de mañana pueden completarla y ya de una vez la vamos a, a, a leer acá al principio de la clase. Ok, if you don't have the time, aquí la vamos a terminar a los que no, 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 no hayan terminado. Ok, that's going to be the first thing that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Digamos que es como la primera uh, cosa que vamos a hacer mañana. Ok. Ok. No voy a hacer tal. I would like to report. Uh, let me see what do you I would like to report a bad product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Julio, that would be one. Sí, así está correcto. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Just give me one second, people, because I don't want to have you that much in here. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Nice, Cindy Melanie. She didn't show up. Elvi Quintanilla. Good night, teacher. Okay, cool. Stephanie Michel. Present. Good night. Cool. Gustavo Ivania Yamilet. Present, teacher. Very nice. Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Excellent. Jose Antonio. Present. Ok, cool. José Edgar. All right. Ok, Juan Emanuel. Juan, are you there? I'm here. Ok, perfect. Let's move Juan Gilberto. Very good. Julio Alberto. Cool. <coughs> Excellent. Present. Julio César. Ok, cool. Karen Beatriz. Present. Ok, nice. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Who is the last one? Play this. Ok, cool. Get this person. Luis Gerardo. Present. Ok, excellent. Veronica Arely. All right, she's not here. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara. All right, she's not here. Luis Jonathan. Luis Jonathan, ok, he's not here. Carlos José. Good night, teacher, present. Ok, perfect, mister. Soy la Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Ok, cool. Uh, William, are you there? Let me see. Hey, no, William. Mm, let me see. Wendy, I was working with Wendy last class. 
So, William, today you're going to have the 10 minutes feedback, okay? Ahora le tocan los 10 minutos de retroalimentación. Okay. Bye, teacher. Okay, cool. All right, for the rest, let's see you tomorrow, people. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful day tomorrow. And see you at night, okay? Bye bye. See you, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye, teacher. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, everybody. Okay, perfect. Night. Okay, perfect, William. Uh, let's remember, okay. estos 10 minutos de feedback simplemente son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase o clases anteriores o algo relacionado siempre con lo de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Right? Mm, de duda a dudas ahorita, sí, estamos bastante claros. Y lo único que me, que me cayó un mensaje de que decía que ah, el 18 creí, de abril empezaba. Yo creí, que te, yo, yo creí que iba a decir, sí, tenemos varias dudas. <risa> No, el 18 <risa> ah, no, no, no ahí, la verdad que es, todo está claro ajá, todo está ajá. claro ahí usted me ha, me ha corregido en ciertas oraciones y, y he tomado apuntes siempre en las correcciones ok, that's excellent, that's excellent. Eh, decían que el 18 sí, comenzábamos ajá, yo creo que después de Semana Santa sí, va a ser después de Semana Santa probablemente si, si todo el papeleo está eh, en, en orden en regla y todo está ya, ya juntado, sí, podría, podría ser el 18. Ajá, bueno, yo ya, me, yo ya me hice la idea de unas dos semanas. <risa> ya, especialmente porque la Semana Santa, pues, se las toman de, de vacaciones, ¿no? Right? Ajá, entonces, creo que sí. Sí, no es la semana del 18. Pero con respecto la a las clases, teacher. Ah, ok. No, pero con respecto a las clases, todo está clear. Ah, ok, cool. So con, okay. La con la plataforma, ¿cómo vamos? Ya. Terminé todo ya. Ah, ¿really? Ya, ya, ya hice el examen, ya. That's excellent, man. I haven't checked that one. I'm going to be checking that tomorrow. Cool. Entonces ya solo prácticamente le faltaría la encuesta de satisfacción que se va a hacer el, el viernes. Ok, sí. Ahí estamos. Ya, yeah, ready. <laughs> ok, man, I'm glad to hear that. Me van a escuchar eso. Right? Sí, no, no, está bien. A ver qué tal, ojalá que nos toque de nuevo. <laughs> Habrá que ver, a ver qué ver, sí. A ver qué ver. Probablemente, probablemente estemos de nuevo en módulo 3. En, uh... Ya, yeah. probablemente pueda ser como los módulos pasados. Que hubo un módulo, bueno, un grupo de módulos que lo llevé hasta módulo 5. De módulo 1 mm. hasta el 5. Right? Ahí, right. por lo menos ya nos, de, ya, nos de, ya nos lleva encaminado ya. Exacto. <risa> Pero habrá que ver, a ver qué tal, cómo surgen las cosas en la sigo hasta a Okay. Right? All right, Está bien, bien. Dicho. Okay, William. If you don't have any other questions, no hay nada más que agregar alguna otra pregunta. So, uh, no, no, ya no hay question ya. <risa> okay, eh, William. So. We're going to see you tomorrow then. Eh, nos vemos mañana entonces en la siguiente videoconferencia. All right. Ya no. Ya. Ya es tiempo de ir a dormir. <laughs> no, no, yo so, a, mí, a mí todavía me falta todavía un poco, pero. Ya, yeah, well, that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, la pero sí, igual. igual. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Pero igual, see you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, man. Good night. See you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful night, okay? Bye bye. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Bye, mister. Okay. So today, uh, the main topic, as uh, you know, like you hear the students, it was uh, how to use would like to. Okay, let's remember that would like to is make it's mostly to make offers and requests, right? How a request, for example, it says we'd like to ship this container tomorrow. So that's remember, right? That's a request. Or they would like to speak to a supervisor. That's a request too, porque están solicitando. Okay, hablar con el supervisor. So this is a request, right? Uh, we have another one. She would like to send a report today. Okay. She would like to send the reports today. What is that? I think it's making an offer, right? A request. 
Okay, he would like to meet the new employees tonight. Okay, so in that case, there's another one. It can be interpreted as a note, you know, like as an offer or is as a request. So that was the main topic that we were discussing. All right. Uh, during basically this class. And then let's remember the structure. The structure is pretty simple from this, from this, um, this type of tense using, you know, like would like to, okay. Let's remember that the uses of would like to is like uh, me gustaría, right? That's the way how we interpret this in Spanish. All right, so that's gonna be like, you know, everything for tonight. Okay, and let's see you tomorrow in another video conference. Bye-bye.